Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Welcome to another episode of Darby's Down Home Detecting. As you can tell, we are working our way up this valley. We're actually working our way up this flat side here. Took a few shotgun shell head stamps and the usual forest treasure. This has an interesting shape. I'm going to go with a really old decorative spoon handle. Oh, yeah. That's got some H2, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I like that. I'd say it's mid 1800s all day. Yeah, it's definitely been here a while. Definitely got some fancy on this side, as you can tell. Hold on, I'll clean it up some. Alright, folks, here's what the clean dove. I don't think it helped much. I think we actually lost some detail on that. Yeah, big old copper brass spoon handle. Bring up a solid 32. Alright, folks. Next target up. It's going to be a piece of old fork. I don't know if I would have came from the handle we just found or not. There's about 10 feet apart. On to the next. Alright, folks. We got our next target up. There you go. Just see right there it is. You're going to have a little coal mining tag. This will have a number on it, and they'd have been duplicates, and they'd have used them down in the mine. This one looks like it's going to be number 200 exactly. That's cool. Heck yeah, I like that one. Number 200 exactly. Alright guys, looks like we're going to have another mining tag. Yep. Alright, let's see what we got this time. Um, I'm not seeing nothing right off on this one. It says SC, so South Central. This would have been for the railroad. Yeah, it's got all kinds of stuff on it. SC 210 is what I'm seeing right now. Hold on, I'll clean it up. Yep, all I can really get off of it, guys, is SC and 210. So I'm going to say that stands for South Central. And 210 will be the number for the tag. Alrighty, on to the next. Could be Sunday Creek, too. That was the name of a mine around here, Sunday Creek Coal Mine. Alright, next target up is going to be a big old hunk of lead. Came in about 40, 41. Alright, guys, I'm out in the woods with the boys. Here comes Eli up the creek. Alex is over there checking out an old deer stand. That's what made us stop here with our metal detector. I found a coin. Found a few other odds and ends. But, uh, yeah, might be modern. Might be old, definitely crusty. All right, let me try to identify it. Well, I don't know, I might be able to identify it. We might have an Indian, at least a weedy, I think. Indian or a weedy, maybe. Yeah, it's a link in there, so it's either modern or a weedy. weedy. We'll clean it up and look. All right, guys, well, we looked at it, and it is a weedy, huh? Mm -hmm. 1915 we believe you can just barely see a date there and here here you can make out the reef and the one cent so yeah we got a weedy about 30 yards from the tree stand so hopefully there's more goodies to come huh yep all right maybe guys we lost them when they was that one maybe it's a nice little path there's some easter lilies at the entrance so fingers crossed all right folks next target up Right beside, there's actually a big spike going up that a pocket watch back. Uh, about inch, inch and a half down. There's a log there, and these aren't real old nails. They're pretty, pretty old. Two little round nails. All the way up it like a ladder. Alrighty. The pocket watch back in a weedy, so it's worth the walk out. Alright, folks. Back out on a dreary, rainy day, but it's 60 degrees, so... We figured we'd have a go at it. We're out in an old cow pasture. First target's an odd one. What do you guys think? Uh, old horn to a car? Just 1900s junk? I don't know. It's got me stumped. On to the next. Alright folks, we're back. Our next target is some type of little brassy lid thing. It does have kind of a design on it. Not sure what that would have been. Huh. 
Good morning, folks. New day. About three days after the last video that's in front of this. Um, had real bad storms. But now I'm out with a buddy in a secret location. Hunting a uh, old coal coming town. First target up. Going to be a suspender clasp. Alright, folks. Got our first coin. It is going to be an Indian. I didn't see the shield in the one cent. But I found it not far from a creek. So it's going to be pretty rotted out. All right, folks, on to the next. All right, folks, I believe we're on to another coin. Um, out in the woods, a little chimney stack right there. I'm in a clearing. I think I may have just popped another coin out. Sure looks like it. It's just so muddy and gummy. Um, let me clean this up, and I'll get back to you. All right, don't know how well you can see that, but we're going to have us with a sweetie weedy. Can't get a date off of it. There's one cent. Alright, guys, see you on the next. Alright, folks, coin number three. Now it looks like it was on edge right there. See if we can get that out of there. Hell yeah. Alright, let me get this one cleaned up, guys, and we'll take a look at it. Alright, folks, we are going to have another IHP, and this one's actually readable. It's 1899. A little crusty on the backside. Hey, we'll take her. I think I can use my uh, Andre's cleaning pencils and uh, clean that up and it'll look good as new. I also got a new batch of cleaning pencils I got from uh, Somerset Searchers from a prize pack I won. So thank you guys for that. Appreciate that. On to the next. All right, guys. I'm out hunting with my buddy on one of his permissions and I think I just popped a silver quarter out. Look at that. All right. He got me some water out here. We're just going to get this gunk out off of it oh that's got to be silver it's nice and gray all right guys i'm gonna spray this and see what we got i think it's an slq bud no shit yep yep it is yep all right guys i got an slq let me get this cleaned up and we'll check it out all right, folks, we got a 1919 Standing Liberty Quarter. I still got to clean it up a little better. I was just excited and wanted to show you guys. All righty. See you on the next good find, guys. Hope you're enjoying. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's afternoon for me. It is uh, about four days in between the beginning of this video and the end of this video. We had some torrential downpours and a lot of rain. Um, everything's flooded right now. But uh, we did meet me and a uh, buddy, Mitch of mine, managed to get out to one of his permissions. It's uh, another old coal company town in our area. And we did both did really well out there. Um, Mitch didn't want to be on camera or anything, but I did record a few of my finds. And I'm going to add them to the end of this video here. So, hope you enjoy.